Mr. James Ali, the Deputy Head of School Administration, Gliston International Academy, has canvassed for the development and reorientation of children towards nation building. Ali made the call at the school's annual education fair in Abuja. He said that the education fair was apt as it will add value to the generality of the people. We believe that the nation Nigeria can change and the world at large. So therefore we started the mission of nation building by developing and orientating the minds of these children towards positive and uh, developmental approach. We had given them the foundational part of education and we believe education is a lifelong um, uh, process. You start from childhood and even to adulthood you are still uh, learning. Now we don't want to start and stop halfway. We believe that as soon as they graduate from the school here, the learning is meant to continue. So we, we, we select schools across the globe, then bring them together, and then we, we design what we call the career day, so that uh, these schools and then people in the society who had uh, made impact and had uh, displayed positive uh, personalities uh, around the nation, bring them in to talk to these students and as well listen to these children as in what career prospects they have. Then uh, with these universities around, they give these children the content of their institutions and then these children alongside with their parents and the school make positive choices so that whatever career they are picking in life will uh, not be short-circuited in the process of education. Now, once they make that choice, they go into that school, whatever they started from the primary school level through the secondary, they continue at the university level. We have every natural resources you can ever think of a nation should have. We have them, but nothing is, seems to be working positively for the nation. And we need these children to start thinking positively and right so that whatever we have, they can put it into good use. Also, the school administrator Rangefield Preparatory School, Mrs. Olajumoke Ekende, said it was important for parents' guidance to help guide the students in choosing their career path rather than be authoritative in their decisions. We parents who do not want our children to fail. We have a, a mindset of what's, how we see our children or what we want them to be in future. Most times we hear parents saying, oh, I want my children to do better than I did. I don't want you to feel like I did. So in doing so, a lot of them miss, even misguide the children by putting them in that box of wanting them to be what they want them to be. So um, I will not blame them entirely. I will say it is the love they have for the children and the fear of, I mean, perhaps that these children shouldn't feel. So they go an extra mile and say, I want you to be a doctor. Doctors are like this. Doctor makes so much money. I want you to be a lawyer. Your father was a lawyer. So you have to keep the family legacy and be a lawyer. So we do, parents do a lot of that. But that is fast, you know, um, reducing presently. And we're beginning to understand the dynamics of other career choices and that all careers are good, all careers have potentials and that these children will excel in whatever career they have chosen. All we need to do is to support them and continue to guide them. A parent, Mr. Michael Mosey, called on parents not to superimpose their wish on their children but create a platform for them to choose their driven career. Parents is a guide to a child so we should help the child to actualize his dream, to follow his passion, to guide him through his passion, so that uh, we, we should not impose what we want on our children. We should, rather, we should encourage them to follow their path. A student of the school, Oluatosin Obasanya, commended the school authority for organizing the education fair, saying that 
it would enable them strategize on focusing on their desired career while transiting to higher education. I believe it will give me a lot because, of course, transitioning from year 12, that is SS3, to university is quite nerve-wracking because it's a new experience and it is... It gives a lot of pressure to do well and make the right decision. So this is giving a lot of prospects in how we can transition in a better way than we thought we could.